Hey, Kingdom family, join with me in speaking this confession by faith. I will declare the decree of the Lord. I am known by my Father because he knew me before I was born and before the foundations of the earth were laid. I am reconciled to the Father by the blood of the Lamb, Jesus the Christ. I have the Holy Spirit, and the Lord's Spirit is working in me to renew my thoughts and create my life through Christ Jesus. I will daily seek the presence of God. His presence is my shield. Through his presence, I'm positioned for my day, and apart from him, I can do nothing. I am God's holy tabernacle, and I daily carry his presence. God has given me 1,440 minutes in a day and 365 days per year. I seek to be a good steward over my time and declare that Satan nor the world will distract me from that which God has for me. I declare that any time lost will be redeemed by the power of Christ, and I am a productive citizen in the kingdom of God. I am a joint heir with Christ, and all that belongs to him belongs to me. My destination is heaven, while the earth is my journey. I press forward to the mark of my high calling. I was raised with Christ, and I'm spiritually seated in the heavenlies, for he raised me through the power of his resurrection. Jesus the Christ and the Father have made their home with me because I love them and make every effort to keep his word. The Holy Spirit lives in me, and he is my counselor, teacher, and spirit of truth. I live by faith because I was justified by Christ, and the just shall live by faith. My body is the temple of God. Nothing unholy or harmful shall approach me or dwell in me. No sickness nor disease shall come nigh my dwelling. I have the fruit of self-control. Nothing external will dominate me. The lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life will not infiltrate my life. Excessiveness will not dominate me. I have the power from the Father to live a life of freedom. I keep my body under subjection through the power of God. I walk in the Spirit. My flesh will not dominate me. As in the determined destinies of Esau and Jacob, the elder shall serve the younger. In comparison, my flesh shall serve my spirit. The Lord gave me a healthy mind. I believe that God will help me to manage my thought life. I was crucified with Christ. Now I live my life through the spirit and for his glory. My God is a consuming fire. He baptizes me with fire so that he may purify me like gold. He seeks to cut away those things and sin that hinder me from producing his fruit. I yield to Christ's baptism of fire. I seek first the kingdom of God, his ways, his thinking, his characteristics. Therefore, all things needed and desired will be added unto me. He is a good father. I seek to reproduce the faithful love God has for me for others. I seek to demonstrate the power of God's love in my life. I trust in the Lord with all my heart. Doubt in my own understanding I refuse to live by and base decisions on. I seek him with my heart and he tells me the way that I should go. Many are the plans that I make but it is the Lord that will direct my steps. I allow God to fill my mouth with his words. I speak forth whatever he tells me. I have the power given by the Holy Trinity to abolish and destroy every demonic force that comes against my family or myself. Today, I bind every demonic force that seeks to hinder myself, family, extended family, or kingdom family. I lose the power of Jesus Christ in our lives since my God protects me when Satan seeks to destroy me. He will be defeated by the power of Jesus Christ and fail. I ask the Lord to rebuke Satan from our lives, my life, and from the lives of my family and the family of God this day. I seek to obey the Father and live my life as a living sacrifice. I shall not live by fear because fear is the enemy of my faith. I shall not be moved by what I see. I will remain immovable, planted like a tree, abounding toward good works and prospering in all that I do. I think about the Lord and his instructions.
instruction during the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. Therefore, all that I do will prosper. I study God's word and I look intently. I don't forget his word and I'm a doer, not only a hearer. Therefore, I will be blessed in whatever I do. The peace of God shall cover me like a shield. I will dwell in that place, a place like the land of Goshen, where prosperity and goodness will abound. I have everything that I need that pertains to this life. I do not rule from my position on earth, but I reign with Christ from a heavenly position. The Lord will prosper the work of my hands. He blesses it so that we have a supernatural supply that will never run out. Just as he provided for the multitude, I will have a surplus remaining because of his blessings and provision. Just as the 12 basket full of provision was left over after feeding the 5,000, this concept is evident in our lives. We tap into a heavenly supply which exceeds our earthly possessions. We access our spiritual blessings by faith. Everything we need is supplied according to his riches in heaven and will manifest in our lives. The Lord's favor leads me and follows me. Favor makes a way when there is no way. When the enemy tries to pursue me, God's delivering hand helps me to cross over on dry ground into the Lord's destination. The Lord is my rear guard. He sits on his throne and watches over me. Jesus the Christ intercedes on my behalf and is my strength when I'm weak. My family is the inheritance of the Lord. We represent his kingdom. We are his citizens, the citizens of his kingdom kingdom and our lives just to testify to the goodness of the Lord. We are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a peculiar people. My children and all my generations are blessed of the Lord. The garment of praise and holiness shall be theirs. They are obedient to his word and seek to do his will. A stranger's voice they will not follow. They are like sheep among wolves, but the Lord is their defender, a very present help in a time of trouble. They will look to him when they don't know what to do and he shall lead them as a shepherd leading his flock they are the Lord's inheritance we will seek to instruct our children in the way they should go they will know that Jesus is the way the truth and the life he will prepare a place for them I will praise and worship the Lord, not merely with a song, but with my life. My life will demonstrate his glory, his praise, and his worship. We are the workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Our lives will show others that God is worthy of our worship and praise. I use his authority given unto me to speak to my mountains, command them to be moved and see the manifestation brought by his power. Like God stated in the beginning, I know that I'm created in his image and likeness. So in the same manner that he spoke over creation and because life and death are in the power of the tongue. I speak over my life and say, let there be peace. Let there be prosperity. Let there be excellent health. Let there be love. Let there be joy. Let there be faith. Let there be hope in the family of God and in my family. And like the Lord, by faith, I will look and see all that my words created. And I will see that it is good. Every word I've spoken is decreed. It is declared it is sealed and therefore established now in the name of Jesus the Christ and by the power of the Holy Spirit given unto me I seal this confession in Christ's holy name we pray amen